this is Fashion Fridays. Every Friday, we present you with a fashion icon or topic. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Zuhair Murad. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, and welcome to another one of our exclusive videos about fashion designers and brands. Born in 1971 in the Lebanese town of Ras Balbek, Zuhair Murad showed artistic potential from a very young age. He combined his talent with his love of fashion to create a fashion brand that is now well known across the world. Zuhair Murad's original works have gotten fashion experts and fans alike a buzz. He's grown his brand from its early days and diversified as well. Zuhair Murad has gained international acclaim as a designer and is known for his exquisite bridal gown designs. The designer does not allow much of his private life out into the public eye, but today we're looking at the achievements and landmark moments that have defined Zuhair Murad as a fashion giant. So why don't we stitch together the pieces of his life by looking at the 15 things you didn't know about Zuhair Murad. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Number 1. Zuhair Murad had to work tenaciously to gain a good reputation. Nothing in Zuhair Murad's life has been handed to him. He had to work to get to where he is today. He was born to Christian parents and lived in the Christian town of Ras Balbek. Most of its residents are Greek Catholics. By the age of 10, Zuhair Murad was already drawing fashion designs. As a teenager, he was a huge fan of Christian Dior and Balmain, among many others. Their work inspired him to become a fashion designer. After finishing school, Zuhair Murad studied at fashion school in Paris. In 1997, he returned home to Lebanon and started his business in Beirut. Number 2. Today, Zuhair Murad has created a fashion empire. By 1998, a Zuhair Murad collection made its way to the runways of Rome, Italy. It was an instant success, and there was much excitement about this talented new designer. Four years after returning to Lebanon, having completed his studies in Paris, Murad was back in the city of love. This time, though, he was making his debut at Haute Couture Week. His gorgeous designs had people talking straight away. What appealed to his fans most was the way his designs embraced the female body shape and how he incorporated embellishments like lace to add the elegant aesthetic. Number 3. Zuhair Murad made his first dress for a friend of his sister's. Before he even went to study fashion in Paris, Zuhair Murad was designing and making clothes for people he knew. His first client was a good friend of his sister's. She wanted Murad to design an original dress for her engagement party. Murad set to work to make her dress. People were shocked by the amazing design and quality of Murad's work. His sister's friend was more than happy to wear the dress and can today claim bragging rights to owning the first ever Zuhair Murad original design. This success spurred Murad forward to pursue his studies. Number 4. Zuhair Murad's foray into the world of bridal wear cemented his place in the fashion industry. Zuhair Murad has always had a passion for bridal gowns. His firm belief is that a woman should feel the most beautiful she's ever felt on her wedding day. Every bride believes that her wedding should be a fairy tale, and Murad sees it as his mission to ensure that every woman who wears one of his dresses feels like a princess. His dresses are known for their originality and his collections include gowns to flatter all figures. In 2005, Zuhair Murad introduced his first ready-to-wear collections. In the years that followed, he has successfully ensured that his ready-to-wear clothes are on sale on every continent in the world, except maybe Antarctica. Number 5. Brides wanting a Zuhair Murad dress should be prepared to spend fifteen dollars to $20,000. Zuhair Murad believes that the overall effect of a dress can be lost if the finishing is not done properly. His bridal collections include statement dresses, which are unique and stylish. Murad is not afraid to include light, delicate, and translucent materials in his designs to emphasize the beauty of the female physique. 
One of his most popular designs is the embellished fishtail dress, which will set a bride-to-be back $16,000. What makes the dress worth its exorbitant price tag is the meticulous attention to detail. Number 6. There was a price to pay for Zuhair Murad's sudden rise to fame. Murad has said more than once that while he's always hoped for fame and fortune, he wasn't prepared for the suddenness with which it happened. He had always had the design aspect of the business under control, but with its sudden growth, there was a multitude of extra elements that came into play. He devoted all of his time and energy to the business to be involved in the operational side as well as the design side. He acknowledges it was a challenge, but quickly adds it was a learning process that changed him for the better as a person. Number 7. Like lots of designers, Zuhair Murad has had many of his designs plagiarized. In 2012, Zuhair Murad found himself in the middle of rumors about design copying. However, Murad was on the right side of the unconfirmed dispute because it was one of his designs that seemed to have been counterfeited. His 2012 Spring Couture collection included a sexy strapless black and nude gown. It graced the red carpet in Hollywood as Blake Lively wore it to the premiere of her film Savages. She wowed photographers with her stunning figure and smile, but also with her fabulous Zuhair Murad dress. Shortly thereafter, Sunit Varma, a designer based in Delhi, is said to have designed a carbon copy of the dress for a show to celebrate his 25th year in the fashion industry. Scandalous! Number 8. Zuhair Murad struck out with the theme of his 2018 Spring Haute Couture runway presentation. The prelude to Zuhair Murad's 2018 Spring Haute Couture collection's debut and its aftermath left several people scratching their heads and asking a simple question, why? The event was promoted on Instagram with the hashtag Indian Summer. While people may have been expecting to see elements of exotic India in the collection, that is not what they got. Instead, the collection was themed around Native American culture. A lot of critics were offended by the labeling of Native Americans as Indians, reasoning that the issue of Native Americans not being Indian was ironed out a long time ago. Others were concerned about the use of sacred Native American symbols, such as eagle feathers, the zigzag pattern, and images of teepee lodges. The brand issued a statement explaining the theme, but did not seem to apologize to the indigenous people who took offense. Number 9. Zuhair Murad Refuses to Turn His Back on Couture The height of couture was in the 1950s and 1960s. However, Murad feels it is still relevant today. While many designers have turned their backs on couture, Murad has vowed that he won't. He believes that a valuable part of his business and label remains rooted to the one-off pieces that he produces. While there's much appetite for sales in the ready-to-wear market, he feels there are still plenty of women who desire ownership of an original dress or ensemble. While he has diversified his label like many other designers, Zuhair Murad is determined that it won't dilute the essence of his brand. Number 10. Zuhair Murad is worth an estimated $14 million Zuhair Murad divides his time between Beirut, Lebanon and Paris, France. Just as Zuhair Murad favors elegance and luxury in his designs, he has similar décor tastes. He likes red roses and places small bouquets of them around his home. His favorite champagne is Moet and Chandon, and he believes in keeping his fridge stocked with it. He insists on sleeping on 100% Egyptian cotton sheets and using cashmere blankets. Zuhair Murad has worked hard to achieve such great success. He and Ili Saab fly the Lebanese flag high in the design world. While the two are both competing for a niche in the couture market, their different styles have allowed them to both grow their brands in a competitive market. Number 11. Zuhair Murad brought his captivating designs to the UAE in 2018. In 2018, Zuhair Murad opened a boutique in Dubai. The store is located in the Fashion Avenue of the Dubai Mall. Shoppers all over the Middle East and beyond were excited to welcome the designer to the burgeoning city, which was fast gaining a reputation as the shopping capital of the world. 
It is said that Zuhair Murad is focusing his attention on the Far East as he is gaining more clients from China, seeking his ensembles. The designer has said in the past that China is going to present the biggest growth opportunity for fashion labels in the years to come. Number 12. Zuhair Murad has just revealed his spring couture collection. January is the month in which most designers debut their spring-summer collections. Murad's collection favored an aquatic theme with plenty of blue fabrics. Many of the designs aim to represent the ocean's waves. A lot of his designs were figure-hugging, the designer's way of paying homage to the beautiful form of the feminine body. Alessandra Ambrosio, a Victoria's Secret model, finished off the designer's runway show at the annual Paris Couture Week. Critics were excitedly anticipating his collection, and the designer did not disappoint. Number 13. Zuhair Murad creations are more in demand among celebrities than ever before. Zuhair Murad continues to dress many celebrities for their appearances on the red carpet. In 2019 alone, his designs have been spotted on the red carpet at a few award shows. Prominent actresses like Kristen Bell and Halle Berry graced the red carpet of the Golden Globes Awards in Zuhair Murad Creations. American actress Laura Harrier stunned the crowds in a beautiful black Zuhair Murad dress that had a flirty twist with its sheer elements. His recent couture show will undoubtedly have even more celebrities lining up to wear his clothes. Number 14. Zuhair Murad cites the dress Jennifer Lopez wore at the Met Gala in 2010 as one of his favorite pieces. The gown that J.Lo wore on the night of the 2010 Met Gala cannot be described as anything less than breathtaking. It took the designer and his team more than 1,000 hours to make it. The exquisite gown with its form-fitting bodice and sweeping skirt featured a lot of hand embroidery to create the final look. Tailored to fit her figure to perfection, J.Lo cut an ethereal but at the same time dramatic look. Her dress was the talk of the town in the days that followed the function, as well as the name of the designer, Zuhair Morad. Number 15. Zuhair Morad's distinctive style is what makes him an industry favorite. Zuhair Morad designs and manufactures apparel that has a style all of its own. He credits growing up in Lebanon for his unique designs. Lebanon is a melting pot of religions and cultures. This creates a diverse flavor, which Murad includes in his designs. The French Federation de la Haute Couture et de la Mode elected him as a guest member to its Haute Couture official calendar in 2012. This has allowed the exciting designer to keep his name and brand front and center in the fashion world. Now, Aluxers, that's a wrap on Zuhair Murad. But before we end this, we're curious to know, which Zuhair Murad design is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us all the way to the end, what could that possibly mean? You know it, you get a bonus. Here it is. Number 16. Zuhair Murad enjoys the peace and quiet of nature. You'd be mistaken if you think the designer at his most comfortable and creative is in the hustle and bustle of the fashion capitals of the world. On the days when he has time, he prefers to spend it at his house in the Lebanese mountain town of Beit Mary. There, he enjoys spending time communing with nature in the pine forests and seeking inspiration for his next collection of designs. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy. Or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.